What is your biggest fear? In a, in a world with extremely high places, sharp objects, creatures like spiders, sharks, dinosaurs, <laughs> what? Terrifying creatures. Out of all of that, what are you most afraid of? Well, that's what we're gonna be finding out today on another episode of Fear Factor. Okay, let's just get into it. Everyone has their own fears, right? Everyone's afraid of something. And as far as I know, that fear just doesn't come out of nowhere. Let's just Google search fear. <laughs> let's just, let's go back to kindergarten for a second. Fear is the most general term and implies anxiety and usually loss of courage, an unpleasant feeling triggered by perception of danger, real or imagined. Okay, so it's the new year and I promised myself that this year would be a, a year of no fear. <laughs> the new year, no fear. It's a movement that I just came up with where we all come together and try and uh, try and get over some fears. And it doesn't have to be huge fears like your fear of being naked in public. It could be like a social anxiety fear. It could be anything like that. What I have here is the top 10 of the most common phobias. Um, and we're gonna go through some of them and we're gonna see what I personally am triggered by. Because as, as far as I know, fear is not something that is made from nothing. Like we learn things as we go through life and we learn to fear some things as we uh, grow up and things like that. So technically, if you're conditioned for long enough, you could really be afraid of anything. Lemonade! <laughs> did, I, did I get you? No? All right, well. <laughs> hey, uh, who's editing this? Probably me. It's his eye. Hey, future me? Yes? Can you uh, make that lemonade bit a bit more surprising so that people can uh, be more scared of it? No. Thank you. I think this picture sums up all of the fears perfectly. Uh, so we have aerophobia, uh, fear of flying, I'm guessing, acrophobia, fear of heights. So we're gonna go through a couple of these. I have some pages pulled up already. Embody some of the most popular fears um, in people. And then we're gonna get a bit more personal where we have uh, a fear of my own that is very personal to me. Um, but we'll get to that. So let's see here. What is the most popular fear? Okay, so the first one that pops up is arachnophobia. Okay, makes a lot of sense. Uh, is the fear of spiders and other arachnids. The sight of a sp spider can trigger a fear response, but in most cases simply an image of an arachnid or a thought of a spider can lead to feelings of overwhelming fear and panic. Yeah, that's how I am with, um, with a few things. And yeah, we'll get to that. Ophidiophobia. Okay, the fear of snakes. What? <laughs> okay, you, you, you know what? I'm not judging. No judgment here about our fears. There's no judgment. I'm just intrigued. Because, <laughs> okay, there's a fear of snakes, right? But why isn't there a fear of, like, bears or coyotes? You know, common animals of the forest. Um... It's fascinating how that's the fear that comes up. Phobia is quite common and often attributed to evolutionary causes, personal experiences, or cultural influences. Um, okay. All right, acrophobia, here we go. Fear of heights impacts more than 6% of people. That's it? I would have thought more. What's 6%? So there's like, what? How many people live on the earth? <laughs> Okay, 7.8 billion. So let's pull up the calculator. Let's let's math this out a little bit. So billion is nine zeros. <laughs> I knew that, leave me alone. Uh, times 0 0.06, 468 million people. That's a lot of people who are afraid of heights. Now, personally, I don't actually know if I'm afraid of heights. Like, I, I don't know if I've been put in like enough situations where I'm high up and I could, develop the fear of falling or 
just the fear of how high I am. So we're gonna look at this. I have a Reddit pulled up called, the, it's the official Acrophobia Reddit. Um, and we instantly have like, like pictures of people being super high up like this one. Okay, that looks really high up. Okay, we're gonna see if I can develop a fear of heights just from pictures and videos. <laughs> you think it's gonna work? Me neither. Getting to work can be a chore, especially if your workplace is 1,700 feet straight up. That's the commute for people that work on transmission lines and antennas in the world of broadcasting. This video shows what it's like to climb to the top of a 1,768 foot tower just to begin your workday. Oh my, what? It all starts with an elevator ride to about 1,600 feet. After that, it's all about climbing. <laughs> of course, you have to bring all your tools with you. That's the red bag hanging below. It weighs about 30 pounds, and you pull it up behind you all the way to the top. Oh my goodness! It's a lot like a spacewalk, where you have to remember to bring everything you're going to need because it's a long way down. This is a brave man. I'm really glad this video is not high resolution <laughs> or IMAX. Can you imagine? Oh, that's so high. This is the pole that the antenna is mounted on top of. It's just <laughs> there for extra height. This is called free climbing, meaning that no safety lines are used. Uh. It's easier, faster, and most tower workers climb this way. Wow, okay, all right, you know what? I'm, I'm starting to, I'm getting like clammy hands. So there is some, there's some nerves going off from this. It's good to take a break and look around while you rest. So don't look around. <laughs> Free climbing is more dangerous, of course, but OSHA rules do allow for it. This is nuts. He's still going. <laughs> what? Props to these dudes. I wish you get paid for this. Okay, I'm starting to feel something. I don't really know what it is. Please don't let go. Oh, there's another man with him. <sighs> these spiky flowers on their long stems are used to attract electrical charges in the air. So if you just touch the wrong thing, can you just go and then you're you're done. You you fall off? <laughs> oh, stop it. You're there, dude. Now we've reached the base of the antenna. <laughs> From here it's just another 60 feet to the top. Oh my. <laughs> I'm not... See the exact the anxiety comes in when you're just watching him climb like a hundred feet. That's where it comes in. He's not cutting, not... There's no editing here. It's just a slow trip to the top. Okay, I want to see when he's like all the way to the end. This is the tricky part. Getting on top. <laughs> oh my goodness. That object with the black top is the lighting beacon. This is nuts. I don't think their hooks are hooked on to anything. Can you change that? I can't tell if I'm like afraid or if I'm afraid for them. <sighs> Goodness. Okay, so I'm feeling something. I'm feeling what it's like to be afraid. <laughs> this is great. Um, all right. Well, I don't think we can beat that personally. Um, what is this? Proposed design of Stockholm's public library 2015. What? Okay. What if you just fall down there? You're done. <laughs> no one will ever see you again. Wow. That's nuts. The road is a little way down in the corner. Oh, that's the that's the road down there. Ooh, where are these places? This just looks like one rock pillar up in the air 
<laughs> wow. Goodness. Okay. That's pretty nuts. That's like you're Spider-Man at that point. Like everything that you're worried about ever just goes away, I'm sure. When you're out on the side of the building. Yeehaw is right. <laughs> Little TikTok. Okay, so this is another Tower Maniac. It's another Tower one. Oh my god. That one doesn't look as high up. That one doesn't look as high as the one we just watched, but my goodness. These people got some hair on their chests. Like, no joke. Oh, stop it. Oh, so. Whoa! That is pretty. That is pretty. Okay, we're gonna. I think we're gonna move on. Um, I think that'll be like the longest. Uh, it's like segment of fears we can go on to. Um, I think we can come back to this. Uh, this is the only subreddit I can I can find based off of like um, anxiety and things like that. Let me know if there's like another uh, Reddit that that I haven't seen already. Because um, this is the official Fear of Heights subreddit. So let me know if you find anything else. Um, so this one I have a personal. Um, how do I, oof, I'm already looking at it, I, this is needles, now I have a personal, I have a personal grudge with needles, because there's something about them, and I think it connects to another fear that I have, which we'll also get to, um, but I'm, I'm gonna just, oof. So if you don't like needles, look away. If you don't like needles, look away. If you don't like needles, look away. This guy, <laughs> that is my exact reaction. I just don't like needles. It's not like, I don't understand people who, who are okay with needles. Like it's just a middle, it's a mini, it's a mini knife. That's, that's all it is. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Ooh, that's bad. Ugh, it's just one of those things that I can feel in my body whenever I, whenever I think about it. Back to the fear Google search. It's something that you can feel physically when you think about it, when you look at a picture or something like that. That's all it takes. Also, if you've like watched a second of the news recently, you'd probably see needles all over the place. I remember back when the the vaccine uh was first mentioned and i suddenly just completely stopped watching the news i mean i didn't watch it anyway um but every now and then i would look up to the tv and it would just be on so you're watching the tv you're watching the news and the, all of a sudden they come up with you know a story on the vaccine and the pandemic or the virus or whatever and you're like oh this is okay until they cut to a clip of someone getting stabbed <laughs> Like, like, what do you, how do you expect me to react? Like, I am okay with what I am watching. Or just like some, some psychopath who's just like, yeah, yeah, I want more. It's just, I, it doesn't, I don't get it. Why, like, why would they put just someone's shoulder just getting, just getting a shot on the news? Like, I understand you need like visual fillers for the news to, you know, keep it entertaining. That's not entertaining. The whole topic of the news just trying to scare the population is for another day. I'm just saying I am not a fan of needles and I stay away from them when I need to, which is all the time. <laughs> um, okay, I think this will be the last one. This last one I think relates to my like fear in needles or it might have been like, my fear of needles might have been like a branch off from this fear. Um, which happened a long time ago. Uh, the stories that I've been told is that uh, I was like three years old, I was with my family, and we were out on the beach, and apparently that day, I got stung by like three bees. In the same day, I got stung by three separate bees, and ever since then, it's been awful. <laughs> There's something about the flying insects that really get to me. I don't think it's the fear of being stung. I think it's the fear 
that comes with the buzzing. It's the buzzing that triggers something in my head that makes me go insane. Um, Cause it's not just bees, it's like house flies and whatever else, you know, that flies and makes a buzzing noise. It's, it's awful. Oh gosh. This preview just, okay. If you're, if you don't like this either, please look away. This is, uh, I'm just trying <laughs> bit by bit. I'm just telling myself that it's okay. And I'm gonna slowly try and get over this fear of buzzing. Convinces my mind that I'm gonna be stabbed. Or I'm gonna be, <laughs> I'm gonna be stung, I mean. Back to the needles. <laughs> wow, thanks for the big subscribe button, thank you. Oh gosh. Oh! Oh! <sighs> that was a genuine reaction. That couldn't have been more genuine. When the bee came up to the mic... Oh... Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm all right. Whoo! That, that gets me going. That is, ah, that's fascinating. I'm okay. I'm okay. Yeah, I'm all right. All right don't, don't worry about me. I'll be, I'll, I'll, ah. Should we do one more? Oh my, I hate my life. Relaxing nature sounds. Let's see if this is any different. Oh my. That wasn't even the buzzing. That was just so loud. <laughs> this is an hour long. Bees for 12 hours. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, this one gets me a little bit. This one gets my like, whenever I hear this stuff, my toes curl up. All right. <laughs> All right, well, I mean, now you know. Oh boy, that was, that was something. I feel like, am I still recording? Okay. <laughs> I feel like we learned something um, about me specifically. Oof. That was, that was fun. I kind of liked it. Um, puts you on the edge of your seat a little bit. I am actually on the edge of my seat right now. Whew. All right. They say if what you're afraid of, you experience it head on, that helps you. It helps you with, uh, fearing it and if you see it enough if you experience it enough maybe after a while you won't be so scared of it anymore uh that's some that's a science lesson for you kids anyway um so that's it for this video let me know what you what you thought uh this was really fun very different from what i'm doing i'm um, still trying to branch out uh with the whole new year in general um i liked it i like doing this stuff it gets you thinking maybe i could do a whole video about sounds that make me go crazy that get that toe get the toes curling um so maybe i'll do that let me know if you want to see that um because i need more ideas <laughs> and uh thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it again i hope you have a fantastic day and i'll see you in the next one see you <sighs> i am not sleeping tonight <laughs>